Today on Retro Shiz, a deep dive into the Marvel Universe, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past, and today we are totally checking out the Toy Biz 1998-1999, but really from 1994, the Supernaturals Carnage 10-inch fully posable, accessory included, action figure, a very somewhat obscure carnage figure if we are to believe that's who he is a very different looking figure i'll give him that all day utilizing the 10 inch version of the carnage figure and then of course a vengeance head on top now before we go any further i will say this i am lucky enough to be able to ask former toy biz people say hey, what the heck is this guy from? Well, I can tell you honestly that it's basically, hey, we wanted to do something cool, and so you got a big, burly vengeance carnage. And that's really what it is. But as you can see, yeah, he comes with the typical sort of carnage attachments, both in the 5-inch figure and the 10-inch figure, but they are a little bit see-through, much like this carnage figure is same thing with like the big goopy symbiote part. I love the I love the way they're painted. Very flexible. You can have some fun with them without feeling like they're going to break if you put them around his wrists. The real fun though is this figure. Long has it been that it's a weird obscure 10 inch figure and it really holds nothing to it. It's not from the comics nor is it meant to be anything other than yeah, there were some parts laying around, and we made a cool-looking character. You do get some swivel in the head. It'll go back and forth. As you can see, love his spiky vengeance mohawk. Teeth are painted nicely. The see-through body, though, is very cool. The arms have rotation, the elbows, of course, and also the legs with the knees. So, very basic. It's basically the five-inch figure scaled up, but... When you have this type of larger 10-inch figure, you can actually have a lot of fun with this character and kind of putting him with other smaller 5-inch Toy Biz figures, which I'll show you. If you have the accessories, they simply just clip on just like this. And for the most part, they do match up. They It's painted just a little bit differently, but it's hardly that you will notice. And you can really put this goopy symbiote part on whichever way you want, front or back. It does work mostly this way, but still, it's a very cool, interesting, supernatural carnage, right? Teeth and all, paint and all, just maximum supernatural carnage. And again, like I said, he's in that 10-inch mark, and a lot of times, they really went deep dive into the lore of Marvel Universe, like this spider lizard, or Vampire Venom, or The Spot, all of which never got 5-inch figures, but they were in the 10-inch, and I have videos on all of these as well. But it's really with the 5-inch figures that you can have the most fun. Now, see, you have the Ghost Rider Lines Vengeance, and you have the Spider-Man animated Carnage figure, and yeah, you can really see where this supernatural carnage comes from. Put him with Spider-Man Venom. Sure, have him fighting a giant supernatural carnage, right? It's not totally out of the ordinary, especially in modern comics, which I'll get to in just a second. I really think that it's interesting to put Blade with him. Maybe he's fighting a giant blood demon, something like that. Heck, maybe he's a minion of Dormammu. That would match up nicely fighting Doctor Strange. You could definitely do that, but I think he works the best with Ghost Rider action figures. Really, that seems to be the most spot-on use of this type of figure, and a figure which has kind of perplexed people over the years, especially here on Reddit. Hey, who is this figure? What is this figure? If you go on YouTube, a lot of videos that do touch on this character, it's mostly the same of, hey, he's a cool-looking character, but I have no idea what this is. Now, does he, can he match up with anything that Marvel Comics has done in the past? Yeah, but you kind of have to look at it in a certain way. Like the Basilisk, kind of, sort of. I will give him that. You can kind of, sort of fudge that. Olivier, yeah, maybe, kind of, sort of, especially in the ears, the teeth. I could totally 
see that tech avian searcher and i think that searcher really does play a look now he really didn't look like this in the 90s it kind of reminds me of thor ragnarok's searcher in a way in a certain way minus the tusks but really with modern carnage absolute carnage he's gone more demonic more things of the supernatural territory and I see that a lot in modern day comics, and I like to think that some of the creators might have these old toys and are really trying to bring them into modern day once again. Give them life. But that's really going to wrap it up for my look back at the 1998-1999, but hey, really from 1994, Marvel Universe, Toy Biz, Supernaturals, Carnage. I'm curious to know if you guys had this figure or if you need to get him now. I've been looking for this guy for quite some time. Yeah, I could have gotten him in the box, but I've been really looking for a loose figure, especially since I've had the pieces long before I ever got the actual character. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to these more obscure Toy Biz figures, if you really know the lore of Marvel Comics and you really can see past the Spider-Mans, the Iron Mans, the Venoms, and all that kind of stuff, you'll find some true gems in there, I assure you. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.